All right, well, this morning, Maryland is mourning the loss of an icon. Former journalist and Congresswoman Helen Bentley passed away over the weekend. Jamie Costello takes a look at her lasting impact. Helen Bentley, the queen of the port, the queen of Maryland politics. Who knew this lady from Ruth, Nevada, would become a Maryland treasure? Asking for a better beat as a Baltimore Sun reporter, she was assigned to go cover the port of Baltimore. So here we are in the 1950s, and here's Helen mixing it up with longshoremen, merchant marines, sailors, and shipbuilders. She gained their trust. She told their stories. And then she discovered the island of TV, as she was one of the first women on Baltimore TV hosting a show called The Port That Built a City and State, and it aired right here on WMAR-TV. She has cracked more champagne bottles on ships than you swat mosquitoes away on a hot summer night. President Nixon appointed her to the highest position held in his administration and the first woman to serve in the maritime field. If she could conquer the waterfront, why not Congress? She ran against the unbeatable and unsinkable Clarence Long. It took three tries, but she finally won. And with the backing of Governor William Donald Schaefer, who reached his term limit in Annapolis, Helen ran for governor, but she lost in the Republican primary to Ellen Sauerbrey. Helen went back into business running her husband's antique store in Cockeysville, but from that storefront, she guided younger politicians, told them how to govern, how to run a campaign, how to win. She served on many boards, made speeches, and even into her 90s, she still had the power. The last time the public saw Helen was this past Christmas when she donated toys and money to Toys for Tots after somebody stole the gifts for the kids. That's the way Helen was always taking care of us, from the water to the land. It's with fitting tribute that the Port of Baltimore is named in her honor. It was an honor for us to have Helen Bentley for 92 years. And upon hearing of Bentley's passing, politicians from both sides of the aisle began issuing statements. The Maryland Transportation Secretary, which runs the port, Pete Ron, said in part, quote, what she accomplished in her long life is nothing short of amazing. Helen spent her life breaking glass ceilings. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake recalled Bentley as, quote, a stateswoman who exemplified strength and uncommon fortitude when faced with the sometime difficult task of getting the job done. Helen Bentley, dead at the age of 92. We'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.